Looking back into the Commodore 64's library reveals many games. More games than any other computer or system ever made. And with that, too many great titles got lost in the shuffle. This series is dedicated to highlighting these forgotten gems. Welcome to Commodore 64 Deep Cuts. And in this 8th episode, we'll be checking out a pair of obscure arcade shooter clones with 1983's Wavy Navy, published by Syria Software, and 1989's Insects in Space, published by Houston Consultants. Wavy Navy hit the Commodore 64 in 1983 by Syria Software a multi-format game that also got an Apple II and Atari 8-bit release. Sirius were a short-lived company, only around for roughly about two years. They published a combination of graphic text adventure games and arcade clones, with their best release probably being Bandits, a cross between Namco's Galaxian and Taito's Stratovox. Wavy Navy is essentially a Galaxian clone, but with a few twists. First you take control of a boat trying to take out swarms of kamikaze planes and machine gun toting helicopters. You have a single cannon shot to take them out with, but the biggest difference in the game is the big waves that are flowing at the bottom part of the screen, which forces you to have to constantly navigate up and down the waves to put yourself into better positions to shoot the enemies. It also has alternative uses, like being able to be used as a shield in a sense, as you lure the kamikaze planes to you and zip over a wave as they crash into it. The waves themselves can also be pretty deadly for you. As the further you go, sea mines will eventually appear, giving an added sense of death at the bottom of the screen to dodge while still taking care of the hectic top apart. Just like all classic arcade games though, after destroying a complete wave, you'll receive a navy styled rank up in your job, and it repeats itself, faster and with more enemy variations added. Besides the good old kamikazes and helicopter assaults, eventually big bomber planes will fly over and blanket the whole screen with drop bombs, and giant missiles will fly across, and much more. The game's graphics are simple, but quite satisfying. It was a 1983 release after all. The game however is definitely not optimized for the C64 which results in a ton of slowdown in an otherwise simple game. It's the result of a straight Apple II or Atari port no doubt, common practice in the early Commodore 64 releases. It's not enough to ruin the game though, but simply could have been done a lot better. The music ditties between levels are really great, fun little navy themed tunes with everything from what to do with the drunken sailor and the theme to Popeye the Sailor Man. Wavy Navy is a fun clone game with enough variety to make it a bit more than what you initially see. Check out this deep cut for yourself. Insects in Space released on the C64 in 1989 courtesy of Houston Consultants. No strangers to the shoot 'em up genre on the C64 with some great titles such as Uridium, Zynapse, and Slayer under their belts. Insects was however a clone of an earlier shoot 'em up style pioneered by 1981's Defender. The game itself is a 100% Defender clone, but done with a lot of style, and you can think of it as a fun alternative like Archer McLean's Drop Zone. It delivers the same experience with a few minor variations. The game was coded by Chris Yates of Sensible Software who had just come off making the excellent Whizball and Micropro Soccer. The story has insects wiping out humanity as the mythical St. Helen travels to Earth to save the remaining babies from being abducted. You play the naked winged defender as you have to eliminate every enemy in a wave before the next level. Just like defender, the insects will attempt to not only kill you but also abduct the babies. Blasting them drops the kids and you can catch them and return them to a building for safekeeping or keep them and use them as power-ups. You also have a limited smart bomb to kill everything on the screen in one shot. The radar at the top of the screen acts in the exact same way is Defender giving you a location of the enemies and the amount left. Plus the top of the screen has a mirror image of the ground so babies can be taken from the top or the bottom just to throw more chaos into the mix. The blasting action and speed are both pulled off extremely well. The sound effects are really excellent by Martin Galway who also did the short intro music. Zap64 went way overboard and awarded this game a 94% overall in their March 1990 issue. It's a good deal. Deep cut definitely, but not a 
94% good. Either way, if you really enjoy defender-style shooters, then this could be a really fun variation you may have missed out on.